What's up guys, a little update of the video for the M56 valve cover conversion for your M54. So as you see, the valve cover is still sitting here pretty nicely. One issue I had with this cover was the old hose I had in the initial video I had going from the valve cover to the intake manifold over here. Um, it was just a rubber hose, I think it was a heater hose, whatever it was, and it just wasn't doing the job. And it would collapse under pressure, and I don't think it was doing a very good job at getting those oil vapors to the intake manifold to get burned off. So. Looking on some forums, I found a solution, which is a dormant hose, which actually fits directly on to one of your fittings over here. Now, it's a very tough fit. As you can see, it's not fully on here, but I think I cut a little bit too much. I'm actually going to buy another one of these and uh, do this again with some heat and properly get this fitting on attached. Uh, but it fits very, very well over here, and it fits very well down here as well to that fitting that came with your car. Or you can use another fitting you have with a combination of your old CCV hose, I think. Um, in fact, I actually used the old CCV hose that went to over here um, on the M54 cover. I used that fitting. I could put it over there as well, but I think I lost the one. So what I did was I actually took the original fitting that went over there and I cut off the other part for the branch that used to go over there. Um, now, there are more elegant ways of doing this. If I kept a lot of my older hoses and fittings, what I could have done is use some of those um, to connect this hose directly to it. Another option which could be cleaner as well is using the M56 um, OEM hose, so the hose that goes from this cover to the M56 intake manifold. Now, it's a little bit different because the M56 manifold has an input from going vertically over here, which is where that hose would connect. Um, the M54 manifold is not like that, but what you could do is use um, another combination of M54 attachments and you can get that one done. But for people who already done the setup like me and are having the hose collapsing issue, I'm going to be addressing it with this. I'll put the uh, part number in the description below. I bet you bought it at AutoZone, I think online or uh, I just can't which one. But uh, it is pretty readily available. I think it's actually a Dodge PCV hose, if that makes a difference to you guys. But that's what it is. And as far as I know, it's not leaking anything. Um, it's doing just fine as it is. Um, although I would like a prettier solution, so I think I will be buying a second one and having this uh, dialed in a little bit better. Um, but this works for now, better than collapsing hose. Another question I get about these is, can you replace the diaphragm inside the CCV on the cover itself? And for the longest time, the answer was no, uh, not realistically you couldn't. Um, people on eBay sold aftermarket diaphragms which would work with this cover. But the problem is by taking this cover off, you're basically guaranteed to break it. Um, there's no easy way of taking it off. You can use heat, uh, whatever you can. You will crack these tabs. Uh, people have tried before and you will break it. And there wasn't really an economical solution for this unless you want to buy a custom aluminum one, which some people did sell, which is great. It makes it serviceable. Um, but there was a wait time for that and it just wasn't realistic for what I needed at the time. But I did find this Ukrainian company on eBay now. Unfortunately, what's going on in Ukraine right now, I'm not sure if it's still very really readily available. I bought these months ago, just haven't had time to install, but I mean, they are from Ukraine, so hopefully um, this is still available, although, you know, not really sure about that one. They do sell a cap that almost exactly matches the OEM one, or the original one. Now, if you enter the part number on here anywhere, you're just going to get the entire golf cover which is like 800 bucks, and you're not trying to spend that because you bought this up for a deal. This is the whole point of this, this is economical, and you're not trying to get the plastic cracking valve cover. Um, so this, I think, was like 30 bucks in the U.S., which, yeah, you know, it's a lot for this plastic piece, um, but considering what you're getting, this is perfect. This is exactly what you need. It looks almost like one-to-one -one replica. The only difference is not exactly as many uh, markings on the top. They also sell this replacement diaphragm for the CCV cap. Now, I have no idea if mine's actually broken or not, but I'm sure it's sludged up and full of just, you know, oil debris, which the entire cover was full of when I first got the cover. So I figured, you know what, might as well change it out while I can. Hopefully we'll see some improvements in MPG. Um, if not, you know, just the peace of mind knowing it's changed and it's an upgraded part. With the help of my pry bar, I've gotten this cap completely destroyed, um, but it's the only way it's going to come off. Oh, boy. Yeah. Not too pretty, huh? So right now I'm just cleaning this guy up a little bit, kind of get all the sludge out of there, um, all the cake down stuff that's been there for years. So uh, actually it wasn't too bad to come off because I think, you know, I've been driving this car pretty hard up, up and down from Santa Barbara to Orange County. So a lot of stuff's been loosened up over this, that driving. All right, guys, here's the new diaphragm over here with the new cap. We have to transfer this guy, which is all gunky. Put that on the new stuff. We're gonna clean up first, obviously. And I'm gonna see if there's any tears here. 
doesn't look like there are though, so interesting. Alrighty guys, we've got the new cap as you can see over there. Got the new diaphragm right here. I'm gonna put this in like so. It's gonna sit on the outside like that. And we put it on and actually seal itself together. Next up we have this cap. I uh, cleaned it up as well as I could. A lot of sludge in there. As you can see a little scratch marks from my little pick tool. Picking out sludge. Uh, most of it's already out. It's pretty much all we need. It's gonna be having oil in there anyways. Gotta fit this over the diaphragm. Have it slide over like that. You can see it's kind of fit right through. Then take your spring, which I actually did clean up as well. It uh, wasn't very springy before because of all the sludge that got stuck through. So I was kind of wondering if this CCV valve was even functioning uh, properly. Probably not. So we're going to make this a little bit better by having this new diaphragm free of sludge. And of course, freeing this area full of sludge as well. Speaking of this area, I did do my best to take as much sludge as I could out of here. Um, Someone unfortunately did end up back inside the valve cover, but at the end of the day, it's all oil. This will get dislodged at some point from an oil change sometime down the road. So I'm not too concerned about that. The main thing is that most of it's out, which, as you guys saw before, was pretty full of uh, garbage in there. So I'm sure some of you guys will have worse sludge, some will have less sludge than this, so we'll see. Plop that spring right in there. And then before we put the cover back on, I think I'm going to put some lubrication of some sort on the diaphragm a little bit, just so it seals properly. Probably some silicon spray will do the job. There we go, got that taken care of. A little bit of WD-40 or silicon spray, whatever you got laying around. And time to put this on the car. Place your spring in first like this. Then you've seen your recovery you got this one little weird spot over here, which actually goes in the little area over there. So that little notch fits in that area as well. There's actually no tabs on one side. You can see there's a little bit of a bearing spot over here. So just line it up, it's pretty easy. Um, goes on just like so. That did take a good amount of force to get all those little tabs locked into place. What it is to put one hand on a certain area of it like this. And I use my other hand to push against it with my entire body weight until I hear a little click on every single little tab there. So make sure you do that to get a full seal. And after you do that, you should be good to go. Pop the garage up a little bit. I'm just going to do a little test start over here and see how she sounds. Also, one thing to add, I did have better MPG as well on my way back to school, so 140 mile drive, and I had about two to three more MPG on average than I would have before, so pretty good. Well, guys, that wraps up the M56 valve cover update video. Um, hopefully it helped you out, and if it did, consider leaving a like and subscribe for more content like this.